What up guys, we're back today with another tutorial. So today we are going to be doing um, a candy cane through my cheek type makeup look. So the first thing you're going to need for this tutorial is a candy cane. Go steal it off your Christmas tree or, you know, just go steal a uh, candy cane anywhere. And then you are going to need toilet paper, of course, a sponge, and liquid latex for the prosthetic process. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm just going to speed through this and I'll come back to you guys in a moment. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is taking liquid latex and applying it to the area that I want to stick the candy cane. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to fan it, make it a little more tacky, and then I'm going to stick on my candy cane. And I'm just holding it in place. So now what you see me doing is I'm just taking some more liquid latex. I'm completely sealing this into my face because your cheek moves a lot. So it's um, easier for things that you glue on there to fall off. So we're making sure it's really on there. Now I'm taking a piece of toilet paper to secure the bottom of it. And to kind of create my skin like as if it went into my skin right there and I'm just gonna continue to layer liquid latex layer more skin and you can kind of just watch what I'm doing here but I'm just continuously layering everything Oh, I blow dried the entire piece and now I'm powdering it. I probably put four to five layers of liquid latex and tissue and it's really on there. It's not going anywhere and so I'm just powdering it so it's not sticky. Then I'm taking my BB cream or you can take foundation, concealer, whatever is pigmented enough and is close to your skin color to cover this up. <clears throat> So I'm just putting that onto the prosthetic piece and I'm not wearing any foundation. Uh, I don't usually wear it so I'm going to blend it up a little more also so it kind of matches the area around. It doesn't have to be a perfect match. We're going to color correct it with some other colors so it'll be all fine and work out in the end. And I'm just cleaning up the candy cane because I had some liquid latex on it and it was not showing the true color of the candy cane. So I'm just ripping off that extra liquid latex. And you just see me blend that foundation everywhere. So now I'm just taking my favorite palette. Got off of Amazon for about 15 bucks. Taking my sponge that I ripped up to make it more textured. And I'm just taking some red, some purple, some deep burgundies. And stippling that all over my entire face to make it look irritated, aggravated. Like you got a serious injury in your face. So we're going to just try to make that look as so... I'm just taking it, trying to cover up some of the white, make some of the deepest part where it would be going in darker, and then blending it out with my finger. And this is all about layering, however you want to do it. You can be as messy or as clean as you want with this. I say messier the better, especially for gruesome, you know, crazy looking things like this. So I'm just going to powder. I kind of really like it. Um... And you see me just picking up some stuff. So I'm kind of seeing how I like the placement of the candy cane. Putting it in, I'm going to dirty up the candy cane a little bit. But the paint wasn't sticking so well, so I'm going to put some blood on it later. So here's just kind of a sneak peek of what it's going to look like. 
So now I'm just going to take my little homemade jar, uh, jar of blood I made, and I'm just taking, I just made a thicker formula of it. Taking it, putting around the deepest points um, in a thick layer, and um, I'm just going to splatter it all over my face. You could use a sponge for this. I just used my brush for personal preference. And I'm just getting that everywhere to try to make it look gruesome. Not sure about the backstory. I just know somehow a candy cane impaled my face with this tutorial. Um, something cool you can scare your family with. But this is going to be our final touch. Just putting on that fake blood. Put some on your um, front piece. Stick it in your mouth and you just bite down on it. You still can talk and everything. Um, just make sure you don't move it and kind of line it up. And this is our final look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to put some pictures at the end of this So, video. thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, maybe you can scare somebody during this holiday season. You never know. Um, enjoy your candy cane. This blood is edible, so you won't die if it got on your candy cane and you eat it. Don't eat the liquid lighter, so. <laughs> what? I'll see you guys. Bye.